Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, May 22nd. My name is Bruce, and today we'll be discussing drought conditions across the roughly the western two-thirds of Oklahoma and parts of western North Texas. First, we'll take a look at drought conditions at the beginning of the year. At this time, uh, exceptional to extreme drought was mainly confined to parts of southwest Oklahoma and western North Texas, while parts of central Oklahoma, south central and southeast uh, Oklahoma were experiencing either no drought conditions or they were uh, abnormally dry. Now we'll take a look at rainfall amounts or precipitation since the beginning of the year. Here we can see that uh, north central and central Oklahoma have experienced their driest period or the driest start to any year since uh, 1921 uh, with uh, rainfall deficits of about nine inches. Uh, West central Oklahoma, that climate division, is the second driest since 1921 with about an eight and a half inch deficit. And then third driest are the south central and northwest or panhandle climate divisions. Um, Parts of southwest Oklahoma also very dry. It's fourth driest, about seven and a half inches below average. And then Wichita Falls doing a little bit better, about five and a half inches uh, below average for the year. And that ranks uh, seventh driest. So now we'll take a look at the current drought monitor dated May 20th. And uh, due to the exceptionally dry conditions, the exceptional to extreme drought has expanded to cover uh, most of the area. The only uh, part that south central and southeast Oklahoma where they've had a little bit more rain uh, are kind of experiencing uh, moderate to severe drought conditions. Next we'll take a look at uh, how the drought is impacting area lake levels. First, we'll take a look down in uh, southwest Oklahoma and western North Texas. Many areas down there, the lake levels are about 25% of the normal pool elevation. This also includes uh, Canton Lake. And in other areas that are doing a little bit better, some of the lakes are beginning to uh, respond to the dry conditions. For example, uh, Lake Hefner and Lake Texoma, Arbuckle Lake. Um, Port Supply and Call Lake and the McGee Reservoir are actually about at 100%. So the drought is the bad news. The good news is it looks like we'll have some uh, beneficial uh, rainfall over the holiday weekend. At this time there's a storm system across the southwest that will move slowly toward our area. Uh, right now it looks like Friday and Saturday the best chance uh, for rain will be across roughly the western third of Oklahoma and western north Texas and points eastward uh, not that they will, will not have any rainfall but the coverage of showers and storms at this time is expected to not be as many as out west. As we move into Sunday and Memorial Day it looks like the better chances for rain or at least more widespread rain will shift slightly toward the east. Uh, maybe parts of southwest Oklahoma and western North Texas uh, will not see as many storms. And in the beginning of the day, kind of the final day before the system uh, pushes off to the east, it appears at this time that uh, central Oklahoma, south central and southeast Oklahoma will have a better chance of more widespread showers and thunderstorms, while the western part, although they're Likely will still be some remaining showers. The coverage of storms out west uh, is not expected to be as great. Here we'll look at the uh, rainfall amounts, or at least the potential rainfall amounts that may occur from Friday through Tuesday night. Um, right now it looks like uh, western North Texas and southwest Oklahoma may experience the heaviest rain, which is good news. Uh, those areas, some of the areas down there may experience or see three to five inches of rain. Also have uh, highlighted kind of a small area in north central Oklahoma near Ponca City uh, might be in the three to five inch rainfall totals. And elsewhere it looks like a general one to three inch uh, amount may fall over the next five days. 
And one last slide here before we end the briefing, the drought outlook uh, that takes us through the rest of the summer, August 31st. Does look like the, those that are in drought uh, will remain in drought, uh, at least through the summertime. And we'd just like to uh, thank everybody for watching this briefing and hope you have a safe Memorial Day weekend.